What's going on, world? It's Xiaomi Sensei Rip, and I'm back again with another video. Today, we got my son reacting to Stephen A. Smith defending Jerry Jones and the picture that's been going viral this week of him back in 1957, showing him participating at a protest in which him and his peers were preventing black students from entering the school building. That's right, y'all. Y'all know how we do, man. Let's check out this clip and hear what my son has to say. Make sure to leave your thoughts and comments down in the section below. And yeah. Let's get right to it. I'm pretty pissed off. And let me say this. <clears throat> I'm pissed off, but not for reasons that people would think. I'm very, very fond of Jerry Jones. And I'm not hiding that from anybody. Is his record perfect? No. But I'm pissed off because he doesn't deserve what just happened. He doesn't deserve it. One report, our report, said he was 14 years old. Yeah. Another report said he was 15 years old. At minimum, that's 65 years ago. You're going to bring up a picture of Jerry Jones standing at this protest. No question what was happening is not something that anybody as a black person should be appreciative about. We had six students at that particular North Little Rock High School that was trying to desegregate the school. No one should it be was, okay it was, it, with it. Nobody should be okay with that. Regardless of We race. understand that. We get all of that. We also understand what we as black people and as black folks, black men, have to deal with. And by the way, to some degree, we still deal with a lot of things, and we all know it. Racism is alive and well. Bigotry and prejudice is alive and well. We get all of that. But you gonna bring up a photo of him yeah. when he was 14, 15 years old, 65 or 66 years ago. We this is this is where cancer culture gets into the mix, and you're making an attempt to eradicate him, what he stands for, and all he has done. And by the way, I don't have a problem with the photo. Yeah. I don't have a problem if he was 30. 35, 40 years old, that's different. Right. 14, 15 years old, 14, 15 years old. Right. But we're going to lean on somebody when he was 14, born and raised in the South, and we're going to pick it up 66 years <laughs> later to say, you know something? Yeah. You ain't hire a black coach. I think that's pretty low. I really, really do. I think, that's, I think that part is pretty low. If he were an adult... Yeah. That would be different. But a 14, 15 yeah. year old kid raised in the South who literally is just standing there yeah. looking, and we use that to bring up in the year 2022. Oh, this is where you are. You got to explain this. This is so unfortunate, Stephen A. How you constantly find a way to cap for white people, you know? You, you find everything wrong with young black kids doing shit. These young black athletes, you know, you find a way to ride Kyrie for everything, for simple shit, for standing up on his own two feet about him with a vaccine and I want to put a vaccine in his body. Or him trying to find out about black culture. You, you find constantly find things wrong about this young black man and other young black men inside these, you know, these, these um, institutions that they, they get thrown into with no guidance, anything. But you 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 constantly find a way to cap for the white man. Now, yes, he was 14 years old. When we look back at those times and we look at the reality, this is what the this is you know, you know, black men in our community, we face some Puerto Rico law, right? You can be out of a you can be out of it. 10, 20 years later, they come get you for furthering a criminal enterprise. Jerry Jones is guilty of furthering furthering a criminal enterprise. White supremacy is a criminal enterprise that capitalized on black people. Black people were trying to desegregate schools so they could get higher, get equal education. And he was complicit and he was involved in stopping that. And because he was able to stop it, he was able to profit off white supremacy, which is criminal activity. What has he done to compensate? What is the resolve for that? Right now, we got a billionaire who owns teams because when he was 14, he was stopping black people from getting the education so where they could have the same opportunity as he had. And when we say he ain't hire a black coach, it's, it, is, it, is, it is indicative of the behavior that's shown there. 
right? So where's the right of a wrong? It's, it's, it's kids that's 14, that was 14, that's doing 40 and 50 years for crimes they committed at 14, right? That, that's, that's what they do to our culture. Young black kids commit crimes at 14 and 13, and they never come home. And some of them ain't even guilty of the crimes they committed. But you were the cap for a white man who you see how his complicity and his his involvement in white supremacy has benefited him. His involvement at 14 and 15 was able to stop black kids from going to schools to get higher education and able to he was able to benefit off white supremacy and never done nothing. There's no resolve. Right. Where's the accountability for what you did? We can say it was 14 and 15, but if a 14 and 15 year old black person committed a crime as heinous as what this shit is, they going to jail. They going to jail. If we see, if somebody find a Nazi that was 14 and 15 and they had on a Nazi uniform and the Jews find a Nazi, he going to jail. He going to be held accountable for war crimes. This is a fucking war crime. Stop trying to cap for black, white people, Stephen A. This shit is a RICO. This is a federal, this is a universal federal RICO charge. That man furthered the criminal enterprise. All of these white people who were able to benefit off white supremacy, off racism, off segregation, all that shit, they're guilty of a crime. And they never was held accountable. There's no resolve. So here you go as a black man on TV capping again. Jerry Jones should have to answer for this. What have you do? What have you done to make up for your part in white supremacy? There's a visual part. There's six to seven black people trying to go to school, and you were there along with the mob that stopped them. That could have changed history, right? You 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 stopped you stopped equity and equality. You were amongst the people. I don't care what age it was. If I was at an age and I committed a crime that was heinous. They would send me to jail. So don't tell me about somebody being 14 and 15. You see the benefits of white supremacy. You see where he's at now because he benefited off white supremacy. Most of these owners benefited off white supremacy. They benefited off racism. They benefited off segregation. They benefited off making sure that black people didn't get equal opportunities. So as you sit up there and cap, and you continue to cap. And every time they talk about a black man and they talk about situations, you know everything that black people do wrong. But you always find the fondness and how you fond of the white man. You got to stop the bullshit, bro. That man got to be accountable like everybody else got to be accountable. You did some shit, be accountable. How do you make up for the shit that you did wrong? How do you make... Black people could have had a better... Outcome, better equity, equality, and justice had you not been with a mob that tried to stop them from getting education. So how do you right that wrong? And that's what you should be saying. As much as I like the Jerry Jones now, I understand that he contributed to white supremacy, which is a criminal activity. And he should be involved with the RICO charge for white supremacy. So what is he willing to do to make up for his part and his role in that crime?